Hey, how's it going? And so continuing the series where we get all the Creation Club mods starting from level one. And I'm going to show you the quickest way to get Chrysomir while also avoiding the conflict with the siege on the Dragon Cult quest and all the glitches that brings. Okay, let's go get it. Okay, luckily I think we've um, already found uh, Grom's Pass. Where we got Goff. And yeah, there you go. Okay, it's only a short little ride. Where's the horse? Okay. This really is quick this way. It's actually even quicker if you've got Whirlwind Sprout, which obviously is Sprout, I keep on saying that. Whirlwind Shout, Whirlwind Sprint or whatever it is. Um, but obviously we haven't got that level one. We haven't gone anywhere near uh, getting Shouts yet. You will pick one up here actually, but um, because we haven't started the main storyline, there are no dragons to get Dragon Souls uh, from. You will need a wild horse or a horse to do this. Okay, now whatever you do, do not do a save there. Do not speak to this guy, uh, Captain Valmir. That will start the quest, so just leave it alone. And you need the horse for this bit. Okay, for some reason you just can't, I can't hop myself up here. Now, hop off, and this is where it's a bit of a pain, and it's gonna take a bit of time, is just run at the wall and keep on hopping. And eventually, you should get up. It's really fiddly and really annoying. Eventually you do it. Come on, there you go. Keep going, keep jumping. My mouse is a bit buggered, so it doesn't let me jump all the time. Come on, keep going, keep going, you're nearly there. There you go the other way, come on, there you go, there you go. Just, there you go. But now you've bypassed the whole thing, you've bypassed the whole quest, and you just gotta deal with this guy. And while he's staggered on the ground, just welly him. There you go. Job done. This is actually a, um, a really unusual enchantment. So health regen during uh, combat is quite slow, but 15% uh, fire resistance, that's good. And you pick up your shout. Well, obviously we, we're not killing dragons to get dragon souls at the moment, but hey, take it if you can get it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, took about uh, just over three minutes. Okay, now we've got it, let's have a quick look. So, this sword isn't bad at all. It's quite heavy, as you'd imagine, with a two-handed sword. Uh, and will be coming in at 20 and gives you a damage of 25. So it's giving you the damage of a dragon bone greatsword for the weight of an elven one, which is excellent. Uh, for improving it fully, you'll need an ebony ingot, a ruby, and the ebony smithing perk. The enchantment's actually quite interesting. Uh, when equipped, it grants you 15% resist fire, 10% absorb magic, and slow health regen during combat. Now, I've looked on, on a few sites trying to check this out, and it appears that the way this works, you actually, if you've got this sword equipped, you'll actually uh, regenerate your health quicker in combat 
than outside combat. Um, I haven't been able to check that out, but that's what I've read. Um, now, personally, I'm not a two-handed person, but if I were, this would definitely be on my list. The only issue is, I'm not convinced it looks right in Skyrim, but that aside, I think it goes really, really well with the Divine Crusader armors. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you the next one, and uh, love you.